Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 6 of season 2 of Jobless Reincarnation. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. Well, you inspired someone else. <laughs> of course not, no. Dang bug in my room, Jesus Christ. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs>
go get to know oh, what happened to you. Oh, babe. <laughs> Right, right, but it's, it's your first other love. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> Oh, if only the glasses would have just came off and then boom, but no. Because it's familiar, babe. No, it's not that, but you know <laughs> in your heart, you know it's her. Oh, God, I can't. She cares about you too, damn it. Do you have to be new? <laughs> but no, honestly, did you have to be new? Oh. <laughs> yeah, but you know he's gonna get impatient. That's typically with any person. Okay. 
It's take longer, but... Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh my god, what happened? Oh. Not really, you know, artistic enough. That too. You want to hang out with him? Yes. <laughs> That's so fucking cute. And I love the fact that she had to give him a hand. <laughs> I mean, that would be the best thing. Mm. But Jesus, I mean, damn. I mean, yeah, do they have to be naked? Okay, shall we go? Yeah, maybe the child that you saw back up in the front.
Well, I mean, yeah, because you did teach her when you were both young. Exactly. I mean, damn, you didn't have to pull her out like that. Jesus. Did someone take her out? Mm -mm. I think everybody in this room does. Mm -hmm. Make her day a little bit better and her life better if you just take her, but it's really more if she wants it. Mm -hmm. She has to do it on her own. Go on, babe. And let's go home.
Okay. Well, we need to at least give her a name. Well, I mean, it can, it's a name that can be either or. It's a unisex thing. Aww. Happy for her. I love the way how he is so nurturing with Julie. I mean, because just thinking about the things that she had to deal with and being put into slavery and being sold and, you know, being beaten and stuff by people who she didn't know if she did anything wrong. And so for her and everyone else in that room to feel that instinct instinct of despair, depression, and everything, all those feelings, and you're just waiting for that moment until it just ends. And that Rudy could immediately relate to because of, of course, his own situation and how he's still, he's overcome it. And I'm still proud of him, even though like sometimes he can go back into that, right? And I feel like when he sees Eddie's again, he's definitely gonna go back in that. And, and it's not gonna be like where I'm gonna be pissed and I'm thinking like all that hard work that he did is kind of quote unquote wasted. It's just, it happens. You can't, you, you don't really know. That's the biggest thing. But I'm glad that he took her, his time with her because typically I think if it was somebody else, especially if you're like, let's say you adopt a kid and you barely really know anything about said kid or you have a child and you find out your child has a mental disability or something. And some parents can either work with it and learn to cope with it and such. And then there are parents where they lash out and they're like, I don't think my child is this. And I, you know, they don't want to see the truth and such. And so it's really hurtful because as someone who has a disability and such, um, both of my parents were very like kind and nurturing and stuff, but I have had friends whose parents were not not as nurturing as my own. Um, and then it's even worse, especially when your extended family finds out, and that's a whole different story for another day. But I'm glad that she's gonna have a new start at a new life. And I love the fact that they gave her a name, because, like, yeah, she had no name. Like, poor baby, for six years of her life, she just went on as is, and now this is the start of a new chapter for her. And I hope it's really well for her, even though we're we're still at the little teeny tiny bits of the beginning of this show. Now, also, with Rudy and so, like Harry Fitz, any moment that these two are together, and it, it's too cute. And I love the fact that Rudy is, like, over here questioning, like, hold up, like, I, I really should not be having these feelings when we're a boy and such. But, oh, baby, if you only knew the truth about it. But, I mean, it, it's just, once again, I'm just waiting for it to happen. Like, I feel like it is going to happen, as I've said, but I'm wondering, like, how long am I going to have to wait for it? And, it? and it feels like their relationship now, because they're continuing from the last time that they, you know, initially saw each other and such, but they don't know that it's them. But when we're watching it as the audience, it's just like, oh my god, it's just, it's this episode all over again. And then just seeing them together... It's like a really good slow burn and such. And I'm not mad at that. Like, because they're they're getting to re 
relearning each other and getting to learn about certain things that they, you know, unfortunately, due to the fact that they were separated, um, and they didn't get to see each other every day. And I love the fact that, like, he, Rudy is telling her, like, yeah, I'm looking for my friend, and I'm over here like, oh, if you only knew, she's right in front of you. And then when she talks about Rudy, and it's like, once again, he's right in front of you, like, if you guys had just, if you only knew. If you only fucking knew it, just, it would be so much easier. But of course, we have to make it complicated. But still, I'm not mad at it. Truly not. But damn, this is good. Hello, emotional. Jesus Christ, even though I didn't cry. But like inside, I was probably tearing up knowing me. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode six of season two of Jobless Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday when I come home for work for episode seven. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.